What is up guys and welcome back to Lesser Athletes, I'm Chadwell and today like always is an interesting video for you. It is the hypothetical trades for Carl Anthony Towns. I originally was not going to be making this video but then uh, there's been some news around the NBA where uh, some executives have believed that Carl Anthony Towns is going to be traded this offseason and in the next upcoming weeks. Crazy to say, I always thought Carl Anthony Towns might be a Timberwolf forever, how he loved it uh, and loved the city. And then there's some also interesting news that his house is supposedly on sale. Um, his $4 million house is supposedly on sale and um, it's getting sold supposedly in Minnesota. So very interesting. Um, two things that very indicate that a trade could happen. And I wouldn't be shocked. We've heard news about um, the Timberwolves are looking more to build around Rudy Gobert and Anthony Edwards, which I don't blame them. Carl Anthony Towns has been amazing. Even though I really like Carl Anthony Towns, I'm not shocked. Uh, excuse me. Um, but I would be interested to see what they get in a trade. We have seven trades for you. And all seven, I have to say, I really, really like. And I think it, they are good trades for both teams. And I think they're good trades for, um, for uh, especially the Timberwolves. Because if you're the Timberwolves, Carling the Towns is on a five-year contract. He is uh, going to be on that contract for a while. Uh, I don't think anyone would ever buy him out maybe until the last two years, something like that. Um, it'll be very interesting to see what teams are going to throw at the uh timberwolves because i think if you're the timberwolves what you really need is forward or maybe a point guard mike conley is a good point guard but um is he a long-term option we'll see i still think he is very good in this league um it'll be very interesting but i think forward and power forward is going to be um it's going to be big concern especially because the the two uh center didn't work why not get some wing play in there and then you have a good guard wing and center uh trio so let's start off with our most likely and there's two reasons why these are the most likely one the raptors seem like they're going to be off season um um uh, engagers when i and when i say that i mean they seem like a team that is going to be trying to engage in this offseason either with a um blowing it up or upgrading the team or trying to get stardom in their team and still trying to compete in the east so we could see something like that from the raptors and you'll see what the trade is here soon but the one that i think is most likely out of all of them is the new york knicks there's been links to the new york knicks and carl Anthony towns and there's kind of been this mutual talk back and forth about potentially a trade happening um i wouldn't know who they would want to trade i'll talk about the trade in a second but we'll see uh, for the Toronto Raptors and for the Toronto Raptors I really like a Pascal Siakam 13th pick for Carl Anthony Towns because Carl Anthony Towns you have to see that he's had some injuries of course of course of course he's uh, been someone that um, when he isn't injured he's still one of the bigger players in an all-star in this league um, and he's on a five-year deal so of course maybe you think oh Siakam and Carl Anthony Towns are the exact same why would I do this trade if I'm the uh, Timberwolves well, two things. One, center position is something you don't need right now, especially for Rudy Gobert. You kind of have a backup in Nasri. Maybe you re-sign him, whatever. Trade away Carl Anthony Towns. Get assets to the wing positions. Pascal Siakam can easily be that somebody that can pass the ball, shoot the ball. He could be someone that rebounds the ball. We've seen him get triple doubles before. This could be someone that you put in your four and somebody that I think would fit well with the team. Maybe uh, Kyle Anderson goes to small forward. Uh, don't know how I like that. Maybe Jay McDaniels is your small forward now, and that's pretty good defensively. But the 13th pick is very much a trade asset that the Timberwolves could do, or they have some st uh, picks to stash. Maybe this is a backup point guard for the future. This could be easily like a Jalen Hood Jafino. This could easily be a Kobe Bufkin, Keontae George. Maybe this is somebody that um, that the Jazz... There was a hair on my mic. Somebody that the Jazz did where they got... Um, Jordan Clarkson to come off the bench. I think the Timberwolves would really like a Jordan Clarkson type player coming off the bench, and that's why I like Keontae George for them. Finally got the hair. Um, so maybe we see this, but I think this is very much a good deal. Pascal Siakam's on a one-year deal, so of course that uh, his value is going to go down a little less. Um, but there's a good good chance I think he re-signs with the Timberwolves with this type of team. We could see them really becoming good competitors with a great forward and wing. Up next, New York Knicks, and the reason why I have Julius Randle in this trade is because I think what the Timberwolves are going to want is star for star, um, because originally I had R.J. Barrett, but I don't think they would risk a Carl Anthony Towns trade for R.J. Barrett unless they get like somebody like Emmanuel Quickly, who was originally in this trade, 
But I think it's just way too much um, for the Knicks. When you're the Knicks and you have this lineup now, what you could be running is a uh, Jalen Brunson, um, Jalen Brunson, Josh Hart, small four position, probably RJ Barrett. You could maybe run RJ at the uh, two, either or. That will probably be better because RJ, I think, is better as a guard. Obi Toppin's been amazing when Julius Randle hasn't played. I think you could definitely slip him at power forward. Or in Carl Anthony Town at center. Or what you can do, you can maybe put Kaz uh, a um, four because I think he is good at a four. Um, it would very much be interesting because if the Rui Gobert situation didn't happen, is the Mitchell Robinson situation going to happen? But I think this team is still a most likely team because uh, there's been connections talking back and forth. And in my opinion, Julius Randle could be on the trade block this offseason, especially with the uh, big chance of not a big playoff performer. Timberwolves really need wings. Um, Julius Randle, I think he's still an elite wing in this NBA. Um, this guy was all NBA last season. Now, did he deserve it? Maybe, maybe not. Um, I think that regular season, Julius Randle definitely deserves it. I wouldn't say playoff Julius Randle, which is the biggest thing about the awards is that um, they're regular season awards. So when the person doesn't compete in the playoffs, of course, everyone's going to call the award fraudulent. Um, Quentin Grimes, though. Somebody that his role has very much uh, got deducted, especially with uh, Josh Hart and chances are Josh Hart's re-signing with all the I Love New York braids and Villanova teammates uh, with Jalen Brunson. Quentin Grimes has seen his uh, role get a little bit reduced. And also, he's not even the sixth man because Emmanuel quickly has proven that he is the sixth man of this team. And I don't blame him. Quentin Grimes is probably the seventh man. So why not go to the Timberwolves? You'll probably be still that six man type role for them. But I think it is very much worth it. I think a bench player that they would like to have uh, for the Timberwolves. Somebody that could provide good shooting for them. Which uh, when you're looking at uh, the playoffs, they're more of a big team. And there wasn't the crazy shooting. Carl Anthony Towns would sometimes provide it. Anthony Edwards too. But Quentin Grimes, somebody I think they could lean on a little bit more. And that would be a good uh, piece for them. Now we have our least likely but possible, and this is why I have it least likely. Celtics, I think it's very much least likely because um, I don't think a Jalen Brown trade is going to happen this offseason. I'd be very, very shocked to see a Jalen Brown trade uh, happen this offseason unless some news comes out that like Jalen Brown wants out. Um, I'd be shocked to see them trade him without Jalen Brown, Jalen Brown saying he wants out. Chicago Bulls, another team that um, I'd be shocked to see Carl Anthony Town go to because of Nikola Vucevic. But Nikola Vucevic is a free agent. I think you would use the money to get another free agent if you get Carl Anthony Towns. And I want to see if they run it back one more year because I wouldn't be shocked to see him run it back one more year. And then Trailblazers. And Trailblazers have been really in connection with Carl Anthony Towns. But I'm shocked because, uh, or I say least likely because... I don't think they're going to be trading the third pick overall because um, there's been a lot of uh, uh, workouts for them with the third overall pick, and they've liked the prospects they've seen, and Dame has been okay with the prospects with they've seen. So clearly, maybe if Dame is okay with this combination of building, rebuilding, and trading the pick, or uh, re rebuilding and uh, competing, then it's okay. Do I think that's good for Dame and that uh, they should just commit to one side? I think they should commit to one side. Um, but we'll have to see what happens overall. Very much will be interesting to see what happens. But let's go to the trades. Uh, Boston Celtics. Of course, I said Jalen Brown. Jalen Brown's going to have to be in it. But I also had Payne Pressure in this. Something that um, I don't know if I did. I don't know what the exact trade I did for the. Uh, oh, no. I did Jaden McDaniels for the Jalen Brown video. This one, I'm adding Kyle Anderson because someone in the comments, you should comment on uh, the videos, talked about Jalen, uh, Jaden McDaniels being somebody that they could probably consider untouchable and somebody that the team really likes, which I agree. I do think he's somebody like that. I just didn't think maybe untouchable, but I do agree now. Like Hearing feedback is always nice knowing that, uh, yeah, I could agree with this then. So Kyle Anderson, Kyle Anderson somebody that is a Swiss Army Knife type guy. Um, that I think the Celtics would really like, especially when Kyle Anderson's kind of have beef with Rudy Gobert. I kind of would see a Carl Anthony Towns and Kyle Anderson trade for a bigger star, possibly for um, the Timberwolves. And you slip Jalen Brown in there. Oh my gosh. Anthony Edwards. I think if Ant can learn how to pass better, this team would be elite. Mike Conley still there is there. So, I mean, wouldn't be too bad. Um, Jalen Brown at uh, small forward. Mike Conley at the point, uh, 
Anthony Edwards, shooting guard, Jay McDaniels, power forward, center, Rudy Gobert. That's an elite team. And then praying Pritchard off the bench would be really nice too. Um, Celtics, what you're getting back is some high-end Carl Anthony Towns. It'd be very much interesting to see uh, what Robert Will could do with Carl Anthony Towns. Kyle Anderson, someone that I think they would really like. Swiss Army Knife guy like I just talked about. But he is great defensively, and that's a Celtics trait that I think every team wants for the Celtics. Um, or every player needs for the Celtics. And then the 2024 first could be a very much a trade asset for them. Maybe get some uh, picks back for them. They don't really have too many picks. I would probably trade uh, the pick if you could for maybe somebody like more of like a role player. That would be very much uh, um, beneficial for your team. Something like how a uh, how Jay Crowder and Gary Payne got traded for five first round picks. Maybe you first and a second, and then you can get easily like somebody like that, or maybe just a first and what unprotected. We'll have to see, but I do like this trade for both teams, and I think the Celtics would definitely benefit from this, especially having Carl Anthony Towns and Jason Tatum locked for years on would be a very, very nice duo uh, for the future. Chicago Bulls, someone that I don't know how I feel about this because of, I've talked about it for Nikola Vucevic, but also DeMar's on a one-year contract. He's an older player, so I didn't know how to value DeMar DeRozan. Patrick Williams is a nice player that I think would also fit with the Bulls. Um, Maybe Kyle Anderson gets thrown in this trade. Patrick Williams, though, someone that uh, people called Kawhi when he first came out the NBA draft, which, looking back now, uh, the Florida State guy did not uh, have big Kawhi um, abilities. But someone that defensively could still be a good player, and I think uh, a team would really want this, uh, especially the Timberwolves, where I think wings are a need so why not get more defensive wings which is very much a need in the nba it seems like now and then 2027 first unprotected timberwolves don't really have picks um they trade all their picks for rudy gobert wild i said that in a sentence um so why not get 2027 first unprotected pick carlton towns five years with zach levine reunited that would be pretty cool um point guard position Lonzo we won't know till uh after next year if he will come back but there's been doubt in the franchise about him coming back um very much interested to see uh what point guard position is going to be like for the Bulls are they going to go full-time Alex Crusoe Kobe White or are they going to try and splurge in the free agency and maybe this is your splurge without uh Vucevic or you go um for our wing of four position and try to get someone like that maybe someone like a Kyle Kuzma for example it'd be very it'll be interesting to see what the Bulls do if they would do a trade like this but I doubt that a trade like this would happen because of uh um is DeMar really a good fit for the Wolves I don't really know is Patrick Williams really somebody the Bulls are willing to give up also and the pick I don't really think so so we'll have to see Portland Trailblazers very much an interesting trade in my opinion because Yusuf Nurkic is someone that I think is on the decline I've talked about but he's on the backup center I think for Rudy Gobert which is a good backup center maybe this is your way for knocking a Nas Reed and you could spend that money somewhere else Anthony Simons would definitely be probably a point guard um a good starting point guard for them Mike Conley would probably come off the bench or maybe Simons comes off the bench and this becomes your sixth man very much interested I would rather have Simon starting over Mike Conley because I think the youth and um I think he's I was gonna say better a passer but I don't think so than Mike Conley I think scoring wise he'd be good so maybe he does become a sixth man the third pick this could easily be um I would say Brandon Miller but looks like the Hornets would choose Brandon Miller but you could easily trade down even with this pick if you want to with the Timberwolves or if you trade this pick for a better asset for example maybe you do this and then you trade um this and uh um somebody else that you really like for a uh Ojean Anobi which would be very maybe you trade both these picks and then something else for an Ojean Anobi and right there now you got a good team. Now you got a pretty good team with uh, defensively uh, OG Anobi, Jaden McDaniels, maybe shooting guard, or not shooting guard, small forward, power forward, um, Simons, Nurkic coming off the bench. We'll have to see. Trailblazers, immediate impact for you, especially with Carl Anthony Towns. Um, it would be a lineup of, off the top of my head, um, Dame, um, Shaden Sharp, 
I wouldn't say Kyle, or Kyle Anderson's more of a small forward. I'd put him more power forward. Small forward would be either Cam Reddish, Matisse Thybul, if one of them come back. Um, Kyle, or, or Jeremy Grant. Jeremy Grant can maybe... Mm, Jeremy Grant more of a four too. You could you could space it out where Jeremy Grant might be a small forward, Kyle Anderson four, Carlton Town Center. That's a good lineup and that is a competing lineup in my opinion in the West. Um, are you gonna make a deep run? Probably not, but you are competing, which is what you really wanted. So it'd be pretty nice to see uh, um, potentially the uh, Trailblazers make a trade like this. Dark horses in their dark horses because I don't know if the Wizards would do a Carlton Town trade one. Um, I don't know if they're going to tank or not. Golden State Warriors is because I don't think they have the assets to. And I'll get back to them a little later. But, uh, Wizards. I think this is one of the traits I like the most too. Porzingis in the 8th pick for a Carl Anthony Towns. This could be a sign and trade unless uh, Porzingis accepts his player option and gets uh, goes to the Timberwolves for one year and then sees how he feels. Um, yeah, so one year for Porzingis potentially, or maybe this is a multiple year deal, and maybe you think Porzingis is better than Carl Anthony Towns, maybe you think Carl Anthony Towns is uh, the same as Porzingis, in my opinion, Carl Anthony Towns is better, um, but it is still a one year deal compared to a five year deal, someone's locked in for five years rather than someone getting locked in for uh, one year, the eighth pick, I think the Timberwolves really like this, especially if you put um, Kristoff's at the four, you could maybe get um, that Swiss Army Knight player in Jairus Walker, Maybe you try and go big playmaker and you do get an Anthony Black and you just put him on the bench and try and uh, develop him. Um, this could definitely be a Taylor Hendricks. Grady Dick would be a good option for shooting off the bench. Maybe this is a, a pure shooter that you maybe look at for a wing. I'd rather have Jay McDaniels maybe as your small forward um, rather than um, um, Grady Dick. But we'll have to see. This is definitely something that I think the Timberwolves could um use for a trade uh to trade away and get a role player that they really like or they could pick stick and pick and i think that would be a great option too porzingis with gobert would be a very interesting combo um i think defensively crazy defensively a really good uh power forward center shooting wise i think he'd fit well with Rudy gobert especially if Rudy gobert's uh weaknesses chris Sauce can um can um what is it called excel it um, we'll have to see how the fit does because if Carl Anthony Towns doesn't work, does Porzingis work? But I think Carl Anthony Towns they try to play more like true center, where I think Porzingis is better at a four position. So it'll be very much, uh, very interesting to see. Up next is the Golden State Warriors. This trade I don't know if I like because I think Carl Anthony Towns fits perfectly with the Warriors. Kevon Looney has shown good strides in the playoffs, but of course, recency bias will say he's oh my god, one of the better centers in this league, but. Okay, and then um, I think he would fit well with the Warriors, especially with how they shoot. This could be definitely a Draymond uh, screen pop to uh, Carl Anthony Towns. You would love that for the Warriors, and it definitely will help them uh, if they still want to be a, a younger team, maybe in two to three years. Carl Anthony Towns will still be there. He's still someone that I think would still be good. Maybe you do trade him, whatever. Timberwolves, you get really younger in my opinion. Jordan Poole would be a good fit, I think, for a six-man role still. Maybe he's your starting point guard. We'll have to see. Um, but he is somebody locked in for a good contract. And now, is it a contract that he deserves looking back at? Maybe not, but I do think he is close to that money. He is still young. There's still a chance. And he could fit in that six-man role for the Timberwolves, which I think they would absolutely need. You always feel like you need somebody to lead your second unit, and that's good what Jordan Poole could do. Kaminga, somebody that I think would also be on the trade block. I think we've heard rumors about a potential Kaminga trade from the Warriors. So why not get uh, Kaminga uh, to the Timberwolves, a good stretch uh, guy that could be... Um, lengthy athletic for you at the forward position this could definitely be your starting three um it'll be very much interesting to see what uh uh kaminga brings to the table for them but then two first round picks the 19th pick and the 2027 first round pick definitely picks i think you'll have to stash and keep again timberwolves don't have many picks so why not get some picks right now maybe they package this deal for something else you never know 
but I do think this works with the Warriors. It's just, does the Timberwolves trade for this, or does the Timberwolves trade for a star? And I think I'd rather go star if I'm the Warriors. I think I'd rather take the Raptors trade. I'd rather take the Celtics trade. I'd rather take the Knicks trade. I'd rather take the Wizards trade than this. So it'd be very much interesting to see. And uh, other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Carthy Town being traded is something that kind of sad very much interesting to see though um very very excited to see what will happen though and other than that i hope you guys enjoy and i'll see you in the next one goodbye